Of the nearly 20 major carriers in the U.S., one of them is based here in the Valley. How much do you know about the hometown airline? Only Fox 5 went inside the training center and headquarters to find out how the low-cost carrier grew to name an NFL stadium. used to be fancy. The 1950s and 60s saw the golden age of aviation when air travel equaled affluence. Not anymore. Allegiant is built on the premise that air travel should be accessible and affordable for all. Affordable for all means prices like these, 46, 51, 79 bucks each way. We started here with one route, it was between Fresno and Las Vegas. Allegiant Airlines was founded in 1997. It's headquartered right here in the valley. Allegiant was created so the one person who couldn't travel could. It was ahead of its time in the no frills market. That meant we went to a lot of small and mid-sized markets. All direct flights. Medford and Eugene, Oregon, certainly Bozeman, Missoula, over here Minot, Bismarck, Fargo and Grand Forks. These are not the type of big cities that you're used to seeing. They were markets that we went to because there was demand there to come, in this case, to Las Vegas. The airline found its niche in typical flyover cities. Accessibility is what we're about. Accessible travel for vacationers that either couldn't afford to fly without us or because of where they live. A lot of larger airlines have abandoned those smaller cities. That's when Allegiant moved in. You won't find the same flights every day. We might fly two days a week, four days a week. We can do it cost effectively and we can bring the overall price of airfare down. Other bigger carriers are serving a lot of business travelers. And when you're spending on the corporate card, that's very different than when you're spending your own money. It's a strategy that seems to be working. Each year, quite literally, we bring in over a million passengers from about 55 different cities and have grown that now to about 55 routes. Just last week, Allegiant announced nine new nonstop routes. Just last month, Allegiant announced 44 new nonstop routes, including breaking into big cities like Chicago, Boston, and Houston for the first time. But the growth hasn't been painless. I do have an emergency aircraft inbound. The repeated maintenance issues include a series of aborted takeoffs and emergency landings. It's very troubling for Allegiant Airlines. The, the inspector general looked into the airline's series of in-flight engine shutdowns, aborted takeoffs, and unscheduled landings. Its maintenance problems have been widely publicized. And I'm really hoping that the Allegiant Airlines, their officials, uh, do the right things, make some modifications. The airline did. It retired the last of its MD-80 fleet of planes. In the last two years, we have completely revamped to a modern all Airbus fleet. The all Airbus fleet also means Allegiant wasn't impacted by the grounded Boeing 737 MAX jet. We have no Boeing, so it didn't impact us at all. We now have performance levels that are on par with any other airline in the country. It's why USA Today, Forbes, The Wall Street Journal have all put us at or near the top of their airline rankings. It's really state of the art with the technology that we have. This is the airline's new operations control center. It's right there on the Allegiant campus in Summerlin. From here, we are monitoring and watching everything. From meteorologists tracking the weather to scheduled maintenance checks, crew schedules. We monitor all of our uh, airports over here. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. As things happen throughout the day, we're just moving pieces around. Las Vegas is command central for everything that Allegiant does. Everything is out of Las Vegas like testing hotel furniture and design for Allegiant's new Sunseeker Resort in Florida. Crews built rooms to scale at the Summerlin headquarters so they can make sure this couch is comfortable and that shower head doesn't leak. The resort is scheduled to open next year. We do have a training center here in Las Vegas um, that is where our pilots do their basic and recurrent training. Our pilots are flight attendants. We got to look at that too. So if they have a great experience, they're going to come back. The flight attendants go through classroom and hands-on training. We build a foundation first. The no frills part doesn't apply to pilot training. These are our full flight simulators. There are three of them. Each one costs about nine million dollars. Air will fill these uh, legs and then we actually will be kind of lifted up to give that feeling of flight. It's actually very, very realistic. Okay, take off. This is an exact replica of McCarran International. Everything you'd see when flying in or out. We can replicate anything from weather to abnormal situations. Pull it off. 20, retard, 10, 5. 
So how did a small hometown airline run like a startup get the funding to name an NFL stadium? It was more than just naming rights. We sat down, we met with the Raiders, and we realized together that there's no team or venue in history that's relying more on travel than the Raiders coming here to Las Vegas. Allegiant went all out on traditional advertising and all in on Allegiant Stadium. Before, they might not have known who we were. Now, because the stadium, they do. So it was a really strategic move by Allegiant to name the stadium. It's yeah. not just the company was flush with cash. Our marketing budget this year with the stadium versus last year will not increase by one penny. Allegiant predicts Las Vegas' sports industry, its own growth, and the Valley economy will continue to take off. We're all in this together. Allegiant Stadium is set to open in July. We have some web exclusives on fox5vegas.com where you can get a more detailed view inside that flight simulator.